Hey YouTube, welcome everyone to my channel. We came up with this beautiful design, you guys. Look at how gorgeous it is. I am loving this design. Every single nail, as you guys can see, was created with so much love and so different. We went ahead and used um, the polish that changes colors. And it changes into a nice clear gel. And then it changes into the black. So when you put it in warm water, it goes see-through. And then you put it in cold water and it turns into the black. It is beautiful, as you guys can see. We have some black leaves and we have some orangey leaves. You guys will get to see on the whole video how we do this look. It is an amazing look, I love it. I got a lot of positive feedback from all over the place. And I really, really did enjoy making this look. I did use my brush, you guys, that I had ruined the first time. I love my brush so much. Um, I did use a little bit of the new brush, and I show you guys in the video. But it was so much fun to make. I do hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next new video. We'll be doing some more looks. Okay, YouTube, here we go. Let's get started. So here are the nail tips. We have stiletto, and we're going to do some long um, coffin nails. So these should be awesome to work with. It's going to be a totally different look. That's for sure. Right here, as you guys can see, we have some nail foil mesh. I believe that's what it's called. Nail foil mesh. And then we have our leaves that we'll be using. We'll be using some black leaves and some, I'm not gonna say gold. They're like, kind of like orangey. Those are really cute, you guys. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and cut the, um, the foil mesh. We're gonna go ahead and cut it up and we'll use our, I'm gonna go ahead and use foil glue with this because that's how I saw one of the girls doing it. Um, so let's see how this is gonna work. So we're gonna go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds and then we'll go ahead and put the um, the mesh foil on top of this. See if it sticks. Well, as you guys can see, I'm kind of struggling with it. It's kind of sticking, but it's not really sticking. So I'm thinking I should use glue It'll probably make it easier. So this is the way it looks so far. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put some glue. I just feel like it's um kind of giving me a little bit of a hard time. So I'm gonna put some glue with the leaves. I know I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I think it'll make it easier for the process for myself. Everybody else can work so good with these things, but I just have such a hard time, you guys. So we have to do the other finger. So this is a very, very beautiful look. So I'll go ahead and let you guys watch and you guys can see. It's pretty simple we're cutting it now make sure you guys cut it just right because where I went wrong with this finger is I did not cut it uh, shorter than I should and the nail hmm, I didn't think it looked the greatest so I learned my lesson on this side when I worked on the other hand and right here I'm just gonna put like some little another mistake I made I think is I shouldn't have put um, this little it's like a little what is it called my goodness I put like a little leaf and then I put over it like a little um, it's like a little round little silver thingy here I shouldn't have done that I should have just put it on the outside which I do do with my other hand and you guys will get to see afterwards um, I should have done that 
So it's just better because when I had to take off the nails, it was really hard to do with that stuff underneath. It's just, I don't know. To me, it was just uncomfortable. But if you guys are okay with it, then hey, more power to it. And right here, I'm just going to go ahead and put some black polish for this finger. And then I'm going to go ahead and buff it out a little bit. Um, obviously, cure it really well and buff it a little. And then we'll go ahead and um, do the uh, encapsulation here. So I want to put some leaves and that kind of thing. Make the nails look super, super cute, you guys. So, so far we have most of the stuff on here. And now I'm just going to put um, some leaves, a little more decor, make it look super cute. Right here, I'm just wandering around like, am I going to put this? Am I not? And you guys can get to watch the rest of the stuff that I'm doing. So you guys get an idea of what I'm doing and I'm not talking away here. You guys know that I love to chat away, but I'll let you guys watch and see. I do put a little bit of tiny little bits of glitter. Uh, which is silver I believe and then we put our little leaves orangey. They look so cute. I Think this look is so adorable. I hope you guys like it. So I'll let you guys watch And right here, as you guys can see, I'm using this polish that changes into like a clear or like a very light grayish. And then when you wet your hands with cold water, it turns into black. I thought it'd be super cool to use it. I had ordered it, I think maybe a week ago. And I thought we'd just try it out. Um, I love the color black. It kind of looks like they're little bats, but they're not, you guys. These are black leaves. Black is one of my favorite colors, and I came up with this look. I thought it'd be super cute. A lot of people did get confused. They were like, wait, are those bats? No, and then when they would look close up, they noticed that they were leaves, and they were like, oh, this is such a super cool look, um, you know, because it looks so cool. It looks like kind of like Halloween-ish, but then when you look at it real close up, it gives you those vibes of um, the fall. So it's, it's a really, really cute look, I think. I really hope you guys um, like this look. I spend a lot of time figuring out what was I going to do with it, but um, I think I nailed it. So right here, we're going to go ahead and encapsulate. And I did use some glue, like I told you guys earlier, to kind of not have the stuff moving around. But in reality, if you think about it, I'm being really lazy. Don't be like me, you guys. You guys can do it. You guys can put the leaves and all that. I just, I always think that these things are a lot complicated, but they're really not. They really aren't. You just have to be very patient when you're putting the stuff on there. As you guys can see, lesson learned, I should have cut it shorter, as you guys can see right here. 
um i did have a problem with it it came out all like i had to go back and forth with that finger because um i believe i tried cutting it with the scissors but that wasn't gonna work because i had already put some acrylic on it so uh my advice to everyone is when you're using these um mesh nail foils make sure you guys cut them right because you're gonna have the same problem that i'm having here the finger looks all messed up and i had to um i had to do a lot of filing it was a lot of work obviously i love to do a lot of work with the nails i don't mind but other people are going to mind so make sure you guys do cut it exactly to the to the size of the nail or you're gonna have that issue this design is definitely coming out so cute but here we go again with this nail i am definitely struggling with it so definitely i learned my lesson so i know that the other hand will be easier i won't be showing you guys the other hand until the end of the video um because i'm trying to show you guys with a good hand that i'm working with and as you guys can see I am struggling and yes I still have my brush you guys I love my brush um, I know I have to give it up sooner or later but I'm still using it so I'm kind of using that brush and the other one that I have there as well which I believe it's a number eight and I think this one that I'm using is a number 10 which I have to get rid of already but this look is definitely turning out super cute um, don't forget that we use that nail polish, that gel polish that changes colors. And we also, after um, curing it, don't forget that you guys have to buff it out as well before you guys do, uh, you know, we capsulate here as you guys can see. I do apologize everyone for all the background noises. The kids out here are playing. It sounds, it sounds like a zoo out here and my dog barking. I'm so sorry you guys. My apologies. I was really, really excited with this look you guys. As you guys can see, I was really excited because i used um two stilettos actually three stilettos here and i used um two of my long those long nails that i had bought um that are coffin and i just i wanted to just give it a totally different look and it's looking so cute right here i'm cutting a little bit from the sides um and it goes better with this one for sure I did forget to tell you guys, um, the clear acrylic that we're using is from Mia Secret, just in case you guys are wondering.
Just so you guys know, I love to see an ugly nail look so ugly like this and then see the um, the end results. It's so amazing, you guys. Um, I hope this encourages you guys, the ones that are trying to learn how to do nails and all. I really do hope that this inspires you to see how ugly my nails look right now. And that way you guys get to see the end results. I, I love it because it goes to show you you can't you you have to trust the process because no one's perfect you guys and definitely i make a lot of mistakes i've always told you guys and i love it because the end results are always so amazing i love to do the filing so you know spending a lot of time filing and filing it right it always works out so to me that's a lot of fun and it's something that i truly truly do enjoy um but yeah so we'll see how it goes let's see the results My favorite time, filing. I am going to file these babies away. Let's put some bling, bling, bling. Let's bling these babies out. I don't know how much bling, bling we could do, but I'll let you guys watch. We're going to use some of the Kiera Sky, and then I'm going to use... Um, I found some black ones that I have over here. Um, and the other ones that are... They look kind of like rainbowish, but they look cute. Now, one of the things that I am trying not to forget is see how the nail doesn't have the polish yet so if you want to keep your rhinestones longer do it like this because then you know usually i like to put my uh clear top coat and then i put them on the top i really don't care if they fall off which they don't because i end up cutting my nails off within two to three days so it really doesn't matter but if you do want them to stick this is the way to go
So right here, as you guys can see, we're going to put them in the water. Look at how cool this is. They're going to change to black, which is so cool. Perfect for Halloween. Perfect for the fall. Anywho, you guys, if you guys really enjoyed the video, which I hope you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on my next video. I put extra footage for you guys.